Welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to talk about water methanol injection. You've heard about it, you've seen it, but you quite don't grasp the concept of it. It's okay, I got you. Follow along. Before we get started today, I actually want to thank all of my subscribers um, for subscribing to my channel. Um, our channel has been growing very, very rapidly lately. And, you know, it's thanks to all you guys out there. Um, if you have not subscribed yet, please do. Uh, please hit that like button as well. Every time there is a like on our video, um, the YouTube algorithm helps our video get out there. And obviously, the more subscriptions and more views we have, we are able to bring you even more and better videos in the future. All right, so let's get started. Water meth injection, you've heard about it. You know, you've heard tuners talk about it. You've heard your friends talk about it, but what the heck does it actually do, right? The water cools down the hot temperature, allowing you to have colder, denser air going into your cylinders, which creates better, higher, more power. Um, it's a very simple concept, but there are even more benefits to this than just power, okay? So what happens when water gets vaporized, okay? When it turns into vapor, it actually turns into steam, okay? So follow along. When steam actually gets inside your engine, what it's essentially doing is it's actually steam cleaning everything that's in there, not just cooling the temperature, but also at the same time, you know, all these newer cars with direct injections, they all have issues with um, gunk building up right on top of their intake valves. So if you have a BMW with direct injection, there's a lot of aftermarket shops out there, out there that's going to offer what they call walnut blasting. So where they take off the intake manifold and they literally um, pressure um, spray this walnut um, right right on top of it so that it's able to get all that gunk off of your valves. But this has to be constantly redone. You know, 20, 30,000 miles, you should keep redoing it to make sure you get rid of the gunk every time. If you have water meth, you don't have to worry about this. Um, the reason the older cars before direct injection didn't have to ever worry about this was because the fuel injector sprayed right on top of the valves and the fuel essentially just kept the valves clean. Now with water injection, water injection is going to actually break all those gunk loose and it will keep your valves clean as long as you keep refilling your water and you keep running it. Um, so at, in the long term of things, you're actually keeping your engine more healthy. Now, when you add methanol to the mix, what does methanol do for you? Because obviously BMW is using just water. So what's the point of using methanol? The methanol, well, when you use water methanol injection, they will sell you a pre-mixed uh, water methanol, which is 50 methanol, 50 water. So 50, 50 mix. The methanol part actually gives you a huge boost in octane. So this is what AEM claims. AEM actually claims if you have 93 octane in your tank and you're using their 50 50 uh, water meth to spray, you are essentially taking that 93 octane and bumping it up to 116 octane. That's race gas. 116 octane is huge. That means now you can run more boost. That means now you can run, you can advance timing even further. And at the same time, because of the cooling properties of the water, you can actually keep the cylinder temperatures down while you're doing all of this. And that's where you're getting, you know, 50, 60, 100 more horsepower, depending on your setup in your car. So when tuners tell you that they recommend water methanol injection in your car, there, that is the reason. One, keeps your engine running clean and smooth. Two, gives you a huge bump in octane so that they can push more out of it. Or if you decided not to push more out of it, what you can do is still keep that octane level up for any type of issues, give you a little bit of a headroom when it comes to octane, knock, you know, things like that. So 
people are always worried about, oh, what if, you know, you go to a gas station, they sell you 93, but turns out it's not really 93. I've seen it happen before, you know. We've done tuning events where we would go to a different state. You know, they will bring us a car. We'll put, strap it on the dyno. They, they even have a receipt that says they pump 93. And then we go to dyno it and we start tuning and we realize, uh, you know, we're knocking a little too early. There's too much detonation going on. So we pop the, um, the fuel pump out and the fuel is actually nice and clear, which indicates that it's 97. 90 or 93 octane will have a yellowish greenish hue to it. So that's where you can actually tell. But unfortunately there are shady gas stations or sometimes honest mistakes where they put the wrong octane fuel in the wrong tank so for that matter having that water methanol on top without actually you know advancing timing for the extra octane would give you that um that headroom where it give you a safety net just in case something does go wrong you don't have to worry about it and at the same time it gives you a longevity of actually driving the car so if you're running Let's say you're running a track day. I'm not talking quarter mile. I'm talking track day where you're doing, you know, 10, 20 laps. And without water methanol, technically, you know, your intake temperature will keep rising and rising and rising to a point where your intercooler is pretty much maxed out and it just can't cool anymore. But with water meth, you're, you are able to control that temperature and keep it at an optimal level the whole time. As long as you don't run out of water or and then you will actually have a very very stable temperature which gives you a stable horsepower output the whole time so your car is not going to get slower over time you're actually going to have the most optimal power the whole time you're driving all right so that is that is why a lot of these tuners will recommend that you get a water meth kit um, that's why we highly recommend a water meth kit in any type of boosted applications now, does it work on non-boosted applications? Yes, of course. Um, a lot of these companies will sell a map sensor voltage-based uh, water methanol kits instead of boost-based. So a voltage-based is basically, it's going to tell the unit when you're going full throttle. When you go full throttle, it's going to open up and start spraying methanol. Obviously, it's the gains are not going to be as big as a turbo or a supercharged vehicle because you can't really turn up the boost. However, you can still uh, max out the timing as much as you can um, to get you the most amount of power possible. And at the same time, again, you get the cleaning benefits um, and also obviously the lower intake temperature benefits and fighting knock and detonation and all of the above. So, yes, the gains are not as big as forced induction cars, but the gains are still there to be had with water meth injection. So it is, it is uh, recommended. The cleaning portion is what's really important to me because that that basically that um, guarantees that your car is going to run great for a long time. All right. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. If you have any further questions or if you want to add anything to the video, definitely comment below and I will respond to you as soon as I see the messages. And thank you again for subscribing. Make sure you hit the like button and I will see you on the next one. Yeah.